there are certain areas in your life especially two areas where you know very soon there is going to be a new beginning and yet you realize that there's a lot of uh, homework to be done i hope the audio is coming all right Oops, great so once you know that new beginnings are ahead you got to put in all the effort that is required to go to the next level this is exactly what's happening now with the houses that venus rules in your chart venus rules two houses Taurus and Libra, wherever they are falling, those two houses are ruled by Venus, depending on your ascendant, not moon sign. And um, why do I say there are new beginnings which are coming? Hmm? Because it's transiting the sign of Aquarius now and it, it's going to transit Pisces tomorrow. No, that's not the reason because after 25 days, it will enter the sign of Aries. Aries is the sign which shows new beginnings and uh, great things uh, starting for you. But before you reach Aries, you must cross Pisces. You cannot reach Aries without uh, crossing Pisces. Now you will say, oh, but yeah, anyways, we know that you have to reach uh, Pisces first, then Aries. What's, what's uh, new in that? Well, it's not about what's new or what's old, but it's about... Do you understand why, why the sign of Pisces comes before the sign of Aries? Do you understand that? Well, that's exactly what we shall discuss today. And uh, tomorrow, Venus will be transiting the sign of Pisces, which is uh, also the sign of its exaltation. Venus gets exalted in Pisces. Uh, and he shall stay there for the next 25 days. Okay. And therefore, this is a very important transit for everybody. Uh, and uh, here, if I am, if I check the chart, if I am, I am seeing this from drikpanchang.com. Sun is already in Pisces, two degrees today, and Moon is already in Aries. There you go. Moon has started. <laughs> the new journey of Moon has started. Then we see Mars, who is in Taurus, and. He is conjunct Rahu and they are nearing uh, on 28th of March. They will be exactly together. Then Mercury is uh, in 6 degrees of Aries. Uh, uh, sorry, Aquarius uh, because uh, he, he, uh, he, went, he was retrograde and you know when Mercury was retrograde then you know he comes out of it uh, some time back and he's uh, about to go retrograde after some time again. Mercury keeps going retrograde uh, every three, three and a half, four months. So that's why he's quite behind the sun. And then Jupiter is in uh, Capricorn, okay? It's 25 degrees. Then Venus is in the last degrees of Aquarius and Saturn is in 15 degrees of Capricorn, all right? And Rahu is in 20 degree Taurus, Ketu is in 20 degree Scorpio. So that's the... Uh, Panchang, that's the uh, Lagna chart. So currently the Lagna here is uh, Leo, all right? And it's about to be sunset. So sun is in the eighth house. Okay. So now the game is going to start because sun and Venus are going to be conjunct in the sign of Pisces. Uh, now it's very interesting that you should take a note. Now what is happening? Venus... Within some days, uh, it is going to cross the sun. Okay. Now, what is happening currently? Sun is ahead of Venus, but within some days, Venus will be ahead of the sun. That has many meanings. Now, what is the sign of Pisces, and why does Venus gets exalted here? So, Venus in Pisces is a very uh, special placement, not because it is just exalted there, which of course is the reason, but also because Pisces is the sign which is before Aries, which shows uh, the base, the homework, which is required to start a new cycle in your life. Okay, So therefore, uh, Pisces is the sign where you are not thinking of the outcome. Okay, Pisces is the sign where you learn to leave things to the universe and to God Almighty and most importantly to your own karma and destiny. 
either ways however you call it okay prarabdha karma destiny whatever fate or whatever you say in english or sanskrit that which is anyways going to happen to you okay so and the opposite of pisces is the uh, sign of virgo which shows uh, self efforts pulsharth trying to change one's destiny trying to shape one's destiny rather okay but pisces doesn't tell you that you should try and change or uh, make things different uh, let things be the way they are a uh, pisces doesn't tell you that don't improve yourself it's different from improving yourself and trying to change things externally okay so therefore venus represents our conception of this material world what do we think gives us happiness that's what venus represents or pleasure i would say to be more precise so once you know that my pleasure and pain my suffering and uh, especially my enjoyment i would say suffering also but especially enjoyment because we are talking of venus my enjoyment is destined to a particular extent i can i cannot change it beyond a certain extent by doing artificial things okay because then that's like forcing karma upon us which doesn't work therefore venus gets exalted in pisces because when you understand that yes this is my level of karma then you can enjoy whatever you have fully that is the main reason why venus gets exalted here because if you are all the time thinking i don't have something i need this i need that i need this person i need that ye bhi chahiye wo bhi chahiye sab chahiye <laughs> then what happens is life becomes like a endless chase you are never happy you cannot experience venus you just cannot experience if you are all the time if you are thinking of what you are lacking in life and that's what the rahu industry has done all the cosmetics and all the all the marketing the media what they have done the media's job is to bring dissatisfaction into your head okay the cosmetic industry tells you oh only if you buy this then you will look good okay fair and lovely if you put this uh, then you become fair you will become attractive then you can attract better members of the opposite sex then you can have a great sex life you can have a great uh, security you know everything will be great just you should use this cream all right then you shall be more attractive and who knows what happens so that is why people think that the cosmetic industry represents venus but actually it represents that which is opposite of venus okay it represents uh, rahu basically because venus needs to be satisfied with what is there if that satisfaction is not there you cannot enjoy venus if you try to force uh, materialistic things beyond that which is not there in your karma then you will be miserable so therefore once you understand before going to aries when a new cycle starts once you understand and you accept your limitations you accept your flaws and you accept the things that you cannot change then you can actually start enjoying whatever little is there in uh, in your life okay otherwise your whole life goes on searching 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 and it's like an endless search it's like an endless quest which you will never uh, find which will never culminate so therefore do uh, do purushartha do whatever is required to make your life better to have a good life nothing wrong with that but understand that the results of your karma or of your actions will come depending on your destiny there are so many people who sit in a same uh, class but everybody doesn't uh, go and join some big university why why because everyone now if even if you assume everybody studies equally even then you will see the results are different and when i'm talking of results i don't mean academic results but people's ability to grasp knowledge or whatever it is uh, it's like getting a hold of the subject it's very difficult it's very different depending on uh, their mind you know, depending on their intelligence which is uh, awarded to them by the material nature depending on their own karma okay so therefore the houses which venus rules in the chart you will see that 
there is the many times people think oh this planet is getting exalted in transit so the houses which this planet rules they will have great flavors well uh, it will have great flavors provided you uh, tune into the energy of that planet okay if you if you know how to activate that exalted energy then it is good otherwise it is like a curse it is better to have a debilitated planet uh, if you are not uh, if you want to play uh, it safe in life rather than having an exalted planet if you have too many desires because then if you are unhappy in life having that exalted planet will make your life hellish because that planet will give you too much awareness about all these things in life which you feel you don't have so therefore whenever this transit is happening you have to understand not venus any other planet uh, also and to the sign of exaltation you have to understand that it's a very high level of energy it's a very high level of awareness so now is the time you have to check yourself okay am i happy with the destiny that i have the quota that god has given to me as ishopanishad says in isha vasyam idam sarvam okay so therefore we have to check within our consciousness okay this is the area which venus rules these are the things which i have and these are the things which i do not have so am i happy am i miserable to what extent am i happy or rather the other way around how can i become more happy or how can i get supreme happiness by uh, arranging my life in such a way that i am satisfied with whatever i have that could mean you may have more resources than others or less resources than others okay how can i stop comparing myself to others and others to me <laughs> so once you figure out all this then you will see that this transit is going to be excellent for you otherwise this can be a very bad transit also okay the worst transit ever uh, that you might face and um, once you have completed this transit for the next 25 days then you will uh, then you will actually understand that yes uh, this cycle is ending and then venus will go to aries and then a new cycle begins new cycle starts for that you have to be uh, you have to be cognizant of the fact that everything will not be the way i want there are things which i can control there are things which i will not be able to control and i need to make peace with the fact okay therefore it's a very good uh, time to see and look down deep down within your consciousness how are the things how do i feel about the things that are manifesting around me and as i said now venus is behind the sun the sun is ahead of venus okay gradually venus will cross the sun so till the time sun is ahead of venus these days the sun is the natural atma karak Okay. he is the one that shows sacrifice so you till the time venus is crossing the sun till that time you have to sacrifice certain things related to the houses which venus rules in your chart that of course depends on your horoscope and uh, once venus crosses the sun you will realize that yes i made certain sacrifices in my life uh, for a better for my betterment and now i can see those results okay so therefore the best way is uh, to understand that yes i have to put full efforts and then whatever comes of its own accord i will enjoy the fruits of my actions okay you may not get any fruits if there are none in your karma okay but we should try our best to make peace with that fact i am not saying that it's easy it's the easier said than done but we have to learn to be happy with what we have because otherwise if you are just going on expecting uh, miracles uh, or you know magics day by day then you are setting your setting up yourself for the worst mental health because then your mind will never be happy you will always find reasons to be unhappy and pull others down okay so therefore this is a very interesting transit and uh, jupiter will also enter aquarius after some days so yes i made a video on it but i'll also make videos on the nakshatra dhanishta nakshatra especially okay thank you very much for your patience and whatever happens at the end will depend on your individual chart and your mahadashas most important okay
uh, if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me you will also find the link down in the description section okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him